Hi, this is Eric Papp, and today I want to talk about be kind first, be right later. In the XY graph, you can see there's two choices. There's one, a choice to understand, and then there's a choice to be kind. And you'll see the zero, which is low, the 10, which is high. And when we choose to understand, and when we choose to be kind, we have the ability to connect with other people. But when we don't choose that, and we want to be right, we want our Per our point to be heard, and that's very low of our understanding and our low ability to be kind to other people, then we engage in conflict. And oftentimes it's unhealthy conflict. And I'm reminded of this uh, by a story. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, talks about a story at the age of 10, how he was traveling with his grandparents in Texas and they were on the road driving somewhere. And at the time, Jeff was very curious with arithmetic and sometimes that he would calculate the gas mileage and he would calculate percentages and how much longer the left they had in the drive and those types of things. And one day he heard an ad on the radio about how many puffs per minute um, somebody's losing uh, on their life when they're smoking. And his grandma at the time smoked. And he remembers doing all the calculations about his grandma's age and how long that she generally typically smokes a day. And he taps her on the shoulder and he says, hey grandma, you know, you're averaging, you know, you've lost like nine years off your life because you're smoking. And him thinking naturally, they want to, you know, he's thinking, oh, they're going to, you know, tell me how smart I am, you know, how, how great that was. He immediately remembers the car being pulled off to the side of the road. His grandma starts crying. His grandpa gets out and he says to him, Jeff, one day you'll know that it's harder to be kind to someone than it is to be clever. And man, we need kindness now more than ever. Abraham Lincoln says, I don't like that man. I must know him better. So I encourage you to apply a little bit of kindness in your life today and look and see where is it do I need to be kind first and then be right later. I'm Eric Papp wishing you all the best. Take care.